Hey, what's up, YouTubers? It is Everride, and I am on dirt today. <laughs> Gosh, what is this, some kind of an adventure channel where somebody actually rides on some dirt? And lately it has seemed like that has not been the case because I haven't been doing it much adventuring. I actually have a pretty common problem on the DRZ. It's a little coolant leak down here on the side. Oh my goodness, I totally forgot something. Let's go way back in time, back to the very beginning of this video and remind you that on these super long videos, there is a key, a very cool trick that you can do to speed up these ultra long videos if you don't have a lot of time. If you want to watch videos faster, you go to youtube.com slash HTML5. You put that in, you click a button that says request HTML5 player. Once you get that player, you then have the option to speed up videos or slow them down. I was gonna sit there, but it's, <laughs> Ant Town 9000. What happened here? Some kind of like ant apocalypse where they're all running to the cliff? Anyway, he's back to the future. Boink. So I have my skid plate off right now. That's not stopping me. I haven't been on dirt for a while and I need to, I need to dirt, dirt, dirt it up. So just take it easy on this bumpy stuff, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm gonna go old school today with an old school Ever Ride Moto Vlog. I forgot to air down my tires. Jeez, these things are like rock solid, rock hard, like, like Goat Cabasa's muscles. Yep, we're doing an old school Moto Vlog today. I don't really know what I'm gonna talk about, but I'm sure there will be plenty of interesting things discussed. In, oh, I just figured out what I'm gonna talk about, uh, including where am I gonna go on these adventures? What bike am I gonna take? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I have some ideas. I have some ideas cooking around, uh, cook, cooking around in the little chicken brain of mine. Yeah, I got some ideas. And hopefully you'll like them. But I want your feedback, so stick around, leave some comments. I've also got a big announcement for something really huge and cool coming up for uh, August 16th. Stick around. Back from the intro, the intro that I tried to make like Top Gear. Well, ladies and gentle tubers, what's up? Uh, I'm out here in St. George, Utah. This is where I'm from. I want to say a big welcome to all of the new subscribers. I want to thank you guys for joining the channel, for joining the adventure, for watching some random half sane person ride a motorcycle and talk to himself. There's value in that in and of itself, right? I mean, I don't even have to have a topic. You're just like, hey, I like watching crazy people. This guy's amazing, because he's crazy and he's a person. You think I'm a person, maybe I'm one of those lizard men. This is taking a turn for the random. First announcement, this is a big, 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 big one. On August 16th, all around the world, motorcycle riders are uniting for a cause. What cause? Any cause you want. The cause of solidarity, the cause of unity, just to go ride and know that there are many, many other people riding with you. Now this is called Sink the Planet. A great idea from a good friend of mine, Doc Man Rides. So on August 16th, at the same time, everybody is gonna go out on the ride. Now for me, I believe that means it's three o'clock in the morning. I'll have to correct myself later when I, when I get back to my computer. But three o'clock in the morning is when I'm gonna have to be riding to ride with, uh, you know, everybody else in the world. So, I invite you to join that. More information can be found in the link in the description. Definitely want to have you along. It's just kind of a, it's a cool, there's a collective power and a collective energy in a community. Boink. Ooh, you guys, here's another big, big, big thing. Big, big, big thing, and I forgot to mention it. This is huge though, huge, huge, huge. I'm extending the auctions for Ben for, for one more week. We didn't we didn't even come close to getting everything sold, nor did, on a lot of things, we even come close to uh, the minimum that I would sell it for. Uh, remember, the minimum is gonna be about 20% less than what it would go for on eBay. So you can still get it for 20% less than an eBay price. Some of that stuff, especially some of the more expensive things, the boots, uh, they're gonna have to go for a little bit, a little bit more 
than what people are bidding uh, for me for me to uh, feel good about that. Otherwise, I'll just sell them on eBay and, and uh, give Ben that money. So, little kangaroo squirrel in the trail. Watch out for the motorcycle on your tail. Go watch that video, look in the description, see if there's anything that catches your eye. And go ahead and make an offer, make a bid and a private message and uh, let's do it. Let's do it for Benjamin. Boink. Oh, these tires, I need to air them down. They're so stiff. Like Mr. Duff Factor's abdominals. You like all these references to other men's muscles? <laughs> Oh, I'm happily married. Anyway, I'm on my way to the Valley of Gratitude. If you don't know what the Valley of Gratitude is, it's a place where I like to go. It's a beautiful overlook, and it's a place where I like to go. It's not actually called the Valley of Gratitude, except for by me. It's called some dumb name, I can't remember. But I call it Valley Gratitude. It's a place where I go when I'm feeling thankful. And I'm feeling very, very thankful for the awesome support from people from people uh, using those Amazon links. And I'm grateful for the new subscribers who come along. I just want to show you guys that overlook and be up there. It's just been a long time, so maybe I should get a little there. That hill climb right there, I'm going to I'm going to call that the Vegas Romaniac hill climb. So let's pause for a minute while we just kind of go fast on this road. No, not pause, we'll just do a, a speedy, speedy thing. You know who I miss riding with? I miss riding with Goat Cabeza. What am I even talking about? Here's a geological lesson for all of you adventurers. Alright, it's time to start talking about these adventures, right? Now here's the thing, uh, and I'm being totally honest here, I don't know the first thing about international travel. I've been out of this country uh, two times, both on cruise ships where I didn't actually need a passport. And I've been to Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Cozumel, Mexico, and then on a different cruise I went to Cabo. That was back before we had kids and subsequently had money because I worked a job that paid money. <laughs> Unlike the careers and the jobs that I've chosen to do to try to be with my family a little more often so that is my that is my very very limited experience with being out of the country so when I say that I'm new and that I'm afraid of international adventure uh, you know and there's lots of people out there that are hardcore adventurers that, that do this stuff all the time and I'm sure they're gonna be like oh pff, no big deal who is this clown and you know what that's right I am a clown because I uh oh I'm on a single track oh my gosh this is where the meth head mountain bikers attack I'm not saying you're a meth head mountain biker if you ride a mountain bike, but mountain bikers around this area, man, they, that's a story for another time. I'm not gonna lie, it was a kill or be killed situation. Single track. So, uh, yeah, it, you know, hardcore adventurers are gonna think I'm some kind of a clown. But for people, you know, just like you and me who don't have a lot of experience in this stuff, that's kind of the draw of it, right? I mean, you're watching some total moron go to different countries or try to have these adventures. Now, here's the thing. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I am very nervous, and uh, I kind of want to do, like, a break-in adventure first. Maybe not necessarily to the country where they, like, decapitate people and, like, hang their bodies from overpasses. But maybe, you know... On this first adventure, I'll go to the country where everybody's really nice and they say a boot and, and stuff like that. Not saying, that's pretty stereotypical for both countries. Realistically, United States has like tons of murderers and United States, everybody in the United States thinks that our country is the bomb, but realistically, it's just kind of average now. Anyway, political, political, getting political. So yeah, I think, you know, uh, I just kind of want to do like a dip the toe in the water kind of adventure. <clears throat> and I've posted a couple of different adventure ideas on my Facebook page. And uh, the one that got a huge response was uh, this adventure to, um, 
where I basically go down the Baja Peninsula to Cabo and then back up uh, the Pacific Coast Highway all the way up into Washington, Oregon. That's not chronological, by the way. Oregon and Washington for you geologically savvy people. You know, I'm, I'm thinking maybe do a, a BDR, a backcountry discovery route along my, uh, along the way up there. Okay, here's skid plate territory, where you wish you had one. So uh, the thing is, is doing backcountry discovery routes is, uh, is you, if you've seen my uh, Utah backcountry discovery route, I'm not very good at those. I'm not a good navigator, terrible with directions. <laughs> so realistically, this is gonna be quite the adventure for me. Anyway, yeah, my thoughts are, yeah, maybe I'll do that. And then I thought, oh, well, there's a super secret uh, plan that's going to do Baja eventually at a, at a given time, at a certain time in the year. And I thought, well, I could do Baja then and I could just go down to San Diego and then ride up California all the way up to Canada to see my brother ride Victoria and uh, maybe venture on uh, up into Canada and maybe parts of Alaska. You know, that, that would be a good thing. Now, the purpose of that adventure, people are gonna be like, wow, that is a softy, softy adventure, Mr. Everide. You could do that in your mother's minivan. And I could. The main purpose of doing, uh, you know, a fairly long distance ride before getting into any big international endeavors is to, is to see if my body can do it. If you follow the channel for a little while, you know that I have uh, some physical problems. And to just test out some of the toll on uh, finances to see if it really can be done. Ooh, hey, we're here to see if it can be done with the finances, to see if uh, what the toll is on my family. Oh, brethren and sisters. Oh, buddies. Welcome to the Valley of Gratitude. While others have oceans and majestic mountain overlooks, this is kind of my piece de resistance. I don't even know if I said that right, I'm not French. If you're French, let me know if I said that right. Boink. And here we are, back to the future of the video. Dang it, I wanted to sit there, but there, there's like flies and ants everywhere. Did something die right here? It's very possible, that's quite a drop. <laughs> this is insane. This must be like the place where the flying ants come to mate. Because they're all flying ants. I mean, they're all of them flying ants. I'm just going to back up a little bit and let you guys have your little dirty party. I keep landing on my neck. They're like following me. I don't want in on your crazy party, you guys. Not that type of guy. All right. Looks like I'm away from the debauchery and the uh, merrymaking that is the ant situation over there. So that is my thought, a toes dip in the water type of adventure. And I know a lot of people are like, man, I was expecting you to go like Tierra del Fuego or something. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, that's for later. I really wanna do those big adventures. But as it stands with the current finances and uh, you know, I, I think it's prudent that as I am a father and a budget adventurer, I need to kind of test my limits before I make any uh, big giant leaps. So tell me what you think about that. Now, as for the bike that I'm going to take, uh, there have been some rumors floating around that it's going to be a KLR 650. Uh, there's been some rumors floating around that it's gonna be a V-Stromp 650. And there's been some rumors floating around that it might be the DRZ 400E with the rack back on it and uh, with some mods to, dang it, these flat ants, ah! those dirty ants. Uh, anyway, yeah, with the rack back on it and tuned so that it gets uh, better gas mileage by the master himself, the touch of the master's hand, Mr. Duff actor. And there has also been rumors that I might be buying an Aprilia Pegaso 650. So uh, it comes down to a, you know, DR650, a KLR650, 
you know, very budget friendly, super reliable bikes that'll get me where I need to go. And then once I get there, that will do the do the deed on the dirt. Oh, well, that was nice. Did I mention that there's that HTML5 player and so that it can make a 20 minute video into a 10 minute video and a 10 minute video into a five minute video and you can pretty much figure out, you know, how fast you wanna watch something and so that, uh, you know, you can just listen quickly and kind of digest the information. I highly recommend that, especially for these longer videos. Beautiful. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's leaking quite a lot there. Oh, you know what? Not too bad, but still a concern. All right, I decided I probably ought to get out of here because I'm being swarmed by ants. You better start, you naughty girl. Let's talk, 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 happy talk briefly about if I go on this, you know, not really international dip your feet in the lukewarm water uh, adventure, what's going to be the value in following something like that, right? Oh, lame. I think what I'd like to do most of all, to come out to California and to Oregon and Washington, and then on my way back through Idaho and meet you. Really, and I really mean you. The big focus of the whole thing would be to meet you. And here's the thing, how great of an adventure would it be? Yeah, there's gonna be some freeway and there's gonna be some pavement, bitumen, tarmac, whatever you wanna call it. And that's not cool and I won't record that stuff. But what I will record is meeting you. Seeing what your, what, what your channel's about. Seeing what you like to do, the trails you like to ride, the best twisty roads you know of. And think about that, that would be like a highlight trip to all of the coolest rides in and around California. Now that would be something worth watching. I mean, you could basically see the best of the best locals edition, and that'd be really cool. I mean, I'm not saying anybody has to like host me to come stay at their house. You don't want a weird guy like me around your kids, trust me. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, if, if you've got a yard that I could like camp in, just a place that you know that I could crash, it doesn't have to have a roof over it or whatever. I would love to come and see what's the coolest thing that you've got. And so I think that would be a really cool adventure because it's not an adventure that's gonna take me, you know, around the world to see all kinds of amazing things like Mr. Mendo's doing, which I really wanna do. But it is an adventure that, that is gonna test some physical limits. And, uh, but most of all, it's an adventure about people. It's about finding people, finding friends. I've met so many awesome friends through the channel and stuff like that. And I'm excited to meet so many more awesome friends in person. And I think that uh, an adventure like that would really kind of open the door to do that. I'm going so slow. So that's kind of the plan. So I'd love to meet you. So leave a comment, you know, if you're down for me coming through your area. And on my Facebook page, I've kind of, uh, put up a really, uh, really rough mock-up of my trip. And what'll happen is I wanna get feedback from you guys, and I'll post another video about this eventually, but I wanna get you guys' feedback on uh, the trails, on where you're at, and then I can plan my route accordingly. It's gonna be fun, guys, and I look forward to meeting you. Just tell me what you think. I mean, be like, ever ride that sounds like the lamest trip in history, and you suck at life. You can say that, or you can say, this sounds really cool, I can't wait to see all the awesome riding places in California, whatever it may be, just let me know. But I very, very much love you guys, and I'm serious when I say I want to meet you, you, you. If you're in California, it, uh, it could very well happen. So let me know, and uh, make your best guess on what bike I will be getting and uh, tell me what bike you think I could get, because uh, as, of, as of right now, nothing is set in stone. So just let me know what you think. Let me know where you'd like to see me to go. And I will go, and I will do it, and I will tell you how it's done. Thanks, you guys, so much for watching. I'm going to try this standing up over some of this crazy stuff. Much love. Everide out.